Hello and welcome back. My name is Lynn and I am Pretty Paper Craft 67. Today I am going to share with you um, a project that I've just completed. Um, I have used a digital kit from my porch prints called Sew, S-E-W, Sweet. Um, and it is really a very sweet kit. It is based on sewing. And um, yeah, I thoroughly enjoyed working with this kit, so I thought I would do a quick flip through um, of my finished project. Um, the kit itself, there's um, there's a lot, a lot, a lot in these kits from my porch prints, and they are really um, very vintage, shabby type um, images and colourings throughout. And it just really inspired me to make something very, very shabby. So I have done a, um, a journal and ephemera folio, uh, and everything is from the kit. The, all, the, all the images are from only from this kit. So um, yeah, I've just made a semi-soft cover journal, and I've kept this one pretty naked inside because of all the ephemera I'll be, I'll be selling as a bundle. Because of all the ephemera, I thought, well, that way um, you can go through and add the ephemera throughout the journal where you wish to. So I have um, made it a semi-soft cover. I have used prints from the kit. Everything in this is from the kit, um, except for a few um, pages within the journal. But yeah, the kit has 10 pages of um, graphics and then five of um, like design background pages. So this is one of the pages and uh, I've done that front and back. I have done a three hole pamphlet stitch to sew in my signature but I've hidden it behind some lace. Um, I've gone through my scrap fabrics and I've just found some beautiful satins and netting and some laces and things like that which I've just layered up I've used pages from the kit and an image from the kit. Um, I've put this beautiful, really sweet little pair of um, metal scissors on there, some satin seam binding, just a few little accents there. Um, yeah, it's really a very pretty kit. Um, as I said, I've kept this kit, this this journal fairly naked. Um, I've put a, a plain page in between each of the um, kit pages. So I think in total there's about 20 pages, which is 40 writing sides. Um, again, more more pattern paper from the kit. And yeah, I, down each focal page I've done some machine stitching. And as I said, I've left it blank. I have included, I've, I've got some magazines here at home which have sewing patterns and things. So I have included some of those throughout the kit, uh, throughout the journal, sorry. Um, but yeah, I've kept it fairly plain, and you'll see with all the ephemeral, you'll understand. Um, yeah, beautiful, beautiful images, just so pretty, very, very shabby, vintage shabby. Um, you could make it quite grungy, or you could keep it shabby as I have with this one. Um, I've put some paper bags in here to create some pockets throughout the, the journal. Um, there are in the kit a couple of pages just with lines for writing um, But yeah, I've put instead of white paper I've used a cream paper to sort of tie in with the colorings throughout this kit Again, this was just I've got some beautiful home journal Australian home journal magazines dated back this one's 1958 so because it was a sewing journal I just thought I would include those in, in it as well and I just attach those to pages as flips. But I mean, look at these lovely graphics. It's such a pretty, pretty kit. So yeah, as we go through, it's um, just to repeat pretty much throughout this whole book. Another paper bag, um, pages from the kit. Again, I've just um, another one of these pages from the Australian Home Journal magazine that I have here, dated 1953. Love these old Singer sewing machines. My mum had a treadle machine. My grandmother had a treadle singer. Beautiful. Um, scissors, and these are beautiful pink tones. I hope it picks up well on camera. The um, the colourings in this kit because they're so soft and muted. It's just beautiful. Another paper bag there. Little button card and some tw and some. Um, 
embroidery thread and then there's my center page and on my center strings I've just attached a little sewing machine and a little um, oh, what do you call those things spool thread spool so they were really sweet and I've just got those hanging over the top as a dangle another page from the Australian Home Journal magazine from both sides I hope that's in frame and yeah so it's really a pleasure to work with this kit another paper bag there and uh, yeah, I've really really enjoyed it and this there's so many tones throughout there's blues there's pinks there's all your um, um, oh, what do you call them the brown tones throughout like your distress ink type tones another page from the magazine that I have And yeah, it just goes, uh, look at that, isn't that gorgeous? Beautiful, very soft pink and white roses, I assume they are. There's some type of rose. Another page from the journal magazine that I have. Thimble, purples and dusky pink tones through there. Plain paper. Another bag there. Look at those, aren't they sweet? I've used elements from, there is a lot, a lot of ephemera, but I've used these two elements as well in my ephemera. And there's another page from the kit there. Just a short one. Look at those gorgeous fashions. 1954 in Australia. How beautiful. And that's the last page in, in the journal. So I've made it plain. I haven't actually put a closure on, but I do have a a satin ribbon that I tie around as a closure for this journal. Um, yeah, really, really pretty. Very, very vintage. Very, very shabby. So that's the journal. And then this is the ephemera uh, folio. But prior to that, this is part of the ephemera. I've cut two of these little uh, ribbon spools and I've just um, threaded some lace around them, pink and blue. And I've just created a couple of little dangles there and I've attached them to a bulb pin. Um, yep, so they're part of the um, ephemera, or part of the bundle, and uh, one of the button cards that come in the kit, I've just put some vintage buttons on there as well, just sewed, sewed them on. So that's part of the bundle, and then this is the beautiful, beautiful ephemera folio. So again, I've just made a satin tie closure on this one, if I could actually untie it. And again, I've just layered up some netting um, and some sheer fabric. Another image from the kit. This is a very old uh, cut glass button from my grandmother's sewing basket. So I put that on there. Uh, I've done a lace spine. Um, some vintage lace there. Again, this is another background page from the kit that I've used to line the, the folio with. And then look at all this ephemera. It is just amazing the amount of ephemera that Stephanie puts in her kits. It's beautiful. So we'll just go through some pieces. I have made ephemera from the ephemera, if that makes sense. Uh, the kit comes with some file folders, so I've just backed them onto pages from the kit to this little area. I've done some hand stamping. I've machine stitched and distress inked. But yeah, they're really lovely to, to just... Um, slot your ephemera journaling cards into there um, so you get two of these so that's one then this one here I made this big tag out of a background page um, that's another little journal card that, that way with the lavenders and the beautiful beautiful text backgrounds and this is another piece of ephemera from the kit I've just done some hand stamping and I've made it into a, a very very large pocket tag and I've just cut some, cut this from another piece of ephemera and did some lace layering there. And I've backed all the ephemera pieces onto some coffee stained paper. So there's those there. Then you had, there's two of these in the kit as well. Again, I've done some hand stamping there, or actually I've cut a label for there. And I've just turned them into little notebooks with some coffee stained paper on the inside machine stitched around them 
the graphics are gorgeous, absolutely beautiful. So you get two of these, and that's one. That's number one. Again, a large journaling card from the kit, and I've just um, I've got some beautiful fabrics from Kylie at Paper Daisy Journals. I bought one of her crafters gift boxes a little while ago, and it's got this most beautiful trims and laces throughout. So I've used a lot of those in this kit as well, and this gorgeous little vintage button. Uh, from my grandmother's sewing kit. Beautiful blue. Matches well with that one. I've used the same trim to just put a little pull onto these medium sized tags, I guess you say they are. Look at those beautiful stick pins. Just beautiful. And the coffee stained paper. And again, I've machine stitched around all the ephemera. This gorgeous little doily here with the dangle I was in part of the crafter's gift box from Kylie. And I just wanted to include it in this kit because, it, again, it's so vintage, shabby. Loved it. And that's just another journal card from the kit. And then these, these little parts here came in the kit as well, but I've just attached them to the front of my folio uh, as another little tuck spot pocket. So another little um, tag from the kit. And I've just used some sari silk and a button and some little a little bit of hand stamping there and then on the other side it's just pretty much a repeat again this gorgeous sewing machine that I've just put a bit of a fabric pull on there machine stitching uh, this envelope is another one of Stephanie's kits um, the gift journal kit that had a sewing element in it and so I've just I've, I've incorporated into this bundle as well so a little card I've put some sweet little cotton lace there and um, just slip that in there and it's got your, your tape measure and buttons and scissors just lovely and it worked really well with this kit another tag with um, the, the beautiful trim pull on it this one here I just absolutely love this image it's the pinks and it's gorgeous so I've got some the velvet and um, some lace and a little pink rosette that I've just popped on the corner there Another large uh, journal card, or medium size, again, some beautiful trim from Kylie that I've attached to that. Lovely, lovely images. Uh, in the top pocket, again, another journal card with the, with the fabric trim. This is the other little notebook that comes in the kit. Uh, beautiful soft lilac tones, and again, the gorgeous Singer sewing machine. Or my sewing machine, I can't say it's Singer. <laughs> And again, I've just made a little booklet with some coffee stained paper. And then this is the other uh, file folder that comes in the, in the kit. So just made those ones up there. I haven't put anything in them, but they would work really nicely as pockets within the journal. So, and then the folio, I have made the folio myself with a, a manila folder. And it's two two pocket folio. And I've machine stitched all around. And so, yeah, so there you go. So that is the bundle. There is just so much, so much ephemera in there. Um, and, oh, beautiful uses for this kit. I'm, I'm very happy to have purchased, purchased it from my porch prints. Um, I do enjoy working with, the, her, uh, with Stephanie's Digitals. They're lovely. So, yes, this one... Um, uh, it was going to be Etsy stock, but I think I've already already sold it. So um, we'll see. We'll have to make another one. So thank you so much for joining me today. I had some requests from the lady from the ladies at um, the my porch prints Facebook group to do a foot through. So thank you to the very beautiful ladies over there that have left all such lovely comments, and I hope you've enjoyed the flip through. And um, yeah, this kit is so easy to work for. It's a very inspirational kit just in its own. So those of you that have mentioned that you're, you've are you purchased the kit yourself and want to make something worth it, just go with it. It's just, yeah, really, really pretty. So thank you so much for joining me today and I will see you all in the next video. Thank you. Bye-bye.